Tonight, National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula is on the spot after declining to accede to a resolution by Azimiolo Moja, one Kenya coalition, to remove nominated MP Sabina Chege as Deputy Minority Whip nine months in office since he was elected Speaker um, of the National Assembly. He is seemingly becoming unpopular with the minority side in the two houses. The not, that's notwithstanding, the former Bungoma Senator's history has come back to haunt him. Here is NTV's Brian Obuya with the context. First of the parliamentary elected on September 8, 2022, following the conclusion of the August 9 general election, then popularity tag is closely knitted to his demeanor on the chair and the decisions he's made in the house so far, starting with the impasse on the majority side. Take your seats. Order. The latest of the unpopular communications happened after Speaker Wetangula declined to accede to the Azimio resolution to replace nominated Member of Parliament Sabina Chege as the Deputy Minority Whip with her Embakasi North counterpart Mark Mwenje. While declining to effect the Azimio resolution, Wetangula quoted an order from a high court sitting in Kiambu injuncting him until the case filed is heard and determined. Wetangula is also in trouble for frustrating Azimio interventions to the whip MPs they consider not loyal to the coalition and who have openly pledged allegiance to the rival Kenya Kwanza coalition from the House committees. The court order effectively suspends the decision by the minority party on the replacement of the Honor Sabina Chege as the debut minority whip. But it was Wetangula who, on September 23rd, 2014, submitted on the floor of the Senate difficult and heavy notes on why the courts and other institutions cannot stop Parliament from exercising its mandate. As a senator, Wetangula viewed court orders against Parliament as unconstitutional and subject to interference with its mandate. Before Speaker Ekwe Yathuro, the late former Senator Oteno Kajuang, fearing that the courts were becoming the only governing body in the country. You know, we are, we, we, they are eating at it slowly, Mr. Speaker. They are eating at it slowly, but sooner or later, uh, if we are not careful, this, this, there will be only one institution of governance, the courts. So that if you want anything solved in this country, you don't need a law, parliament, but parliament, you just go to court. The executive draws its authority from laws passed by the legislature. The judiciary exercises jurisdiction and authority bestowed upon them by the legislature, the speaker. This is the grand norm of democracy. And if the grand norm of democracy becomes a national darts board, Mr. Speaker, then we are headed in the wrong direction. And with that, it was decided that a matter is dealt with by the first institution to be seized of it settling the conundrum on court barring parliament from exercising its duties. ODM argues that it is wrong for Wetangula to hide behind a court order stopping Sabina's ouster. <laughs> you're supposed to serve me. Right. Even Robert Mbui, our, our deputy whip, has not seen that order. Mm -hmm. Wetangula has not shown the minority party that whip, uh, that, that order. Okay. Then it is a suspicious order. In the, chamber, honorable In the 12th parliament, Mr. Wetangula was the leader of the minority side in the Senate. When his NASA coalition wanted him removed in March 2018, then Speaker Ken Lusaka, now Bungoma County Governor, was simply notified. And even when Wetangula raised objection, he urged the NASA side to provide signed minutes and he made a communication to the House. But before the Speaker could formally effect the changes, Wetangula had warned that his divorce with NASA was not going to be smooth. It will be messy. It will be noisy and it will not be easy. As speaker, history is now watching Moses Masika Wetangula with his predecessors having set the bar high. Papa Waroma is now facing his share of noise, mess, and casualties. Brian Obuya and TV.